Germany, known for its rich history and cultural heritage, has its own set of customs and etiquette. To ensure a smooth and respectful experience, here are some important things to avoid doing in Germany. Number 10. Expect credit cards to be accepted. Cash continues to maintain its stronghold in Germany as the preferred mode of payment. It is quite common for adults in the country to forego owning a credit card and instead rely solely on cash or a debit card for their purchases. While some supermarkets, shops, and a few restaurants have embraced card payments, typically restricted to debit cards, it is noteworthy that cash remains the exclusive form of payment at takeaways, bars, street vendors, and the majority of eateries. This cultural preference for cash transactions underscores the enduring significance of physical currency in the German economy, with cash serving as the primary means of conducting day-to-day -day financial transactions for many individuals. Or number nine, avoid walking in bicycle lanes. Exercise caution and refrain from walking in the designated bicycle lanes throughout Germany. Engaging in this activity not only violates traffic regulations, but also poses potential dangers to both yourself and the cyclists who rely on these lanes for efficient travel across cities. It is essential to recognize that cyclists often navigate these lanes at high speeds, and your presence can disrupt their flow and compromise their safety. Consequently, it is not uncommon for frustrated cyclists to express their discontent by ringing their bells and even resorting to verbal abuse if you disregard the established rules. To ensure a harmonious and secure commuting environment, it is vital to respect and adhere to these regulations, allowing cyclists to travel unhindered while prioritizing the safety of all road users. By doing so, you actively contribute to a smoother and more respectful transportation experience for everyone involved. Number eight, don't dump in the wrong bin. In Germany, the world of garbage disposal is quite interesting. It's like a hidden story waiting to be discovered. As you navigate through this realm, you'll see colorful bins with different pictures. Each bin has a specific job, sorting plastic, metal, organic waste, and paper carefully. It's like a well-organized team, showing how much Germany cares about the environment. But remember, there are rules to follow. Mixing the wrong things can have consequences. The people in charge of garbage are always watching, ready to keep everything in order. So let's join in and play our part. Follow the colors, put waste in the right bins, and help make the world cleaner and greener. Together, we can make a big difference by taking care of our garbage responsibly. Number seven, don't travel on Germany's public transport without tickets. When it comes to public transportation, Germany boasts an exceptional system that efficiently connects you to various destinations via trains, trams, subways, and buses. However, there's an important aspect to keep in mind. Unlike in some other countries, you'll often find yourself entering stations and boarding carriages without encountering turnstiles or ticket checkpoints. This may give the impression that riding public transport is free, but don't be fooled. It's crucial to be aware that ticket inspections are routinely conducted by staff on board the trains. They are vigilant in ensuring passengers possess valid tickets, and if you're caught without one, you may face a fine of up to Euro 60. So, while the convenience and reach of Germany's public transport system are commendable, it's essential to responsibly obtain and carry a valid ticket to avoid any potential penalties. By doing so, you can enjoy a trouble-free journey throughout the country. Number six, don't enter a local's home with your shoes on. The key thing to remember is to avoid entering a German local's house with your shoes on. In Germany, it is customary for people to remove their shoes at the entrance before entering a home. So when visiting a friend or family member, be sure to follow this practice and take off your shoes. By taking off your shoes before entering a German local's house, you not only show respect for their customs, but also keep their floors clean. It's a gesture of courtesy that reflects cultural sensitivity and is appreciated by the hosts. Embrace this tradition and make a positive impression during your visits. Number five, avoid making loud noise in public. In Germany, it is customary for people to maintain a quiet demeanor in public settings. Whether you're on public transportation or waiting in doctor's offices, it's important to adhere to this cultural norm. Engaging in loud conversations, speaking loudly on the phone, or playing music at high volumes is considered highly impolite as it can disturb others around you. In order to show respect and consideration for those sharing the same space, it is best to keep noise levels to a minimum. By embracing the quiet atmosphere and refraining from disruptive behavior, you contribute to a peaceful and harmonious environment for everyone involved. Remember, in Germany, silence is often valued, 
and your efforts to uphold this custom will be greatly appreciated. Number four, don't break the Autobahn rules. The challenge lies in understanding and navigating the rules of driving on Germany's famous Autobahn. This renowned highway presents a unique problem for drivers seeking high-speed thrills. The issue at hand centers around the need to balance the desire for speed with safety. The Autobahn allows for impressive speeds, but it is crucial to adhere to the designated speed limits. Exceeding the recommended maximum speed of 130 km per hour can lead to dangerous situations and put lives at risk. Finding the right balance between exhilaration and responsible driving is key. By respecting the speed limits and driving with caution, drivers can enjoy the experience while prioritizing safety on this iconic highway. Understanding and abiding by the rules ensures a smoother and more enjoyable journey for all on the Autobahn. Number three, don't disrespect their food and culture. Don't overlook the abundant culinary delights and cultural diversity that Germany has to offer. If you're studying in Germany and looking to make the most of your experience, it's crucial to embrace their vibrant celebrations and holidays, such as Oktoberfest and Carnival. Germans are renowned for their passion for beer and revelry. Additionally, their cuisine is not to be taken lightly, with a variety of breads, cheeses, cakes, cookies, and the beloved bratwurst. Therefore, it's important to show respect for their food and culture, even if it may differ from what you're accustomed to. Embrace the opportunity to explore new flavors and traditions, as it can enhance your understanding and appreciation of the country you're residing in. By approaching Germany's food and culture with an open mind, you'll be able to fully immerse yourself in the rich experiences it has to offer. Number two, avoid making jokes about Nazism. The association of Nazism with Germany poses a delicate challenge when engaging in conversations with German individuals. It is crucial to recognize the sensitivity surrounding this topic and proceed with care. While it is possible that the subject may arise during discussions, it is important to approach it seriously and responsibly. World War II continues to have a profound impact on the collective memory of many Germans, making it imperative to avoid any jokes or casual remarks about Nazism or the war. By demonstrating respect and empathy, we can create an environment that encourages thoughtful dialogue, fostering a deeper understanding of Germany's historical context and promoting cultural sensitivity. By treading carefully and engaging in meaningful conversations, we can promote mutual respect and appreciation while avoiding any inadvertent discomfort or offense. Number one, don't ask personal questions. The problem at hand is the challenge of navigating the intricacies of German social etiquette. Engaging in conversations and interactions requires a nuanced approach, as cultural norms and expectations can differ from what one may be accustomed to. It can be difficult to understand the unspoken rules and avoid unintentional misunderstandings or missteps. This can lead to potential discomfort or awkwardness in social situations. However, by familiarizing oneself with German customs and cultural practices, one can overcome this challenge and foster smoother and more meaningful interactions. Taking the time to learn about proper greetings, appropriate topics of conversation, and respecting personal boundaries can help navigate the social landscape with greater ease. With a willingness to adapt and an open mind, it is possible to navigate German social etiquette successfully and build positive connections with others. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content.